Hi, my name is Deb Hippen Schultz, and I'm going to share one of my favorite Bible verses with you today. I do have many, but this one is from Jeremiah 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. This verse was my Curcio verse. Curcio uh, is a spiritual weekend retreat started in the Catholic Church, but there is Lutheran Curcio. And when I lived in Southern California, I, I went on the retreat. And I know they have it here in Arizona too. So if you ever hear about it or get the chance, I strongly encourage you to go. It's a wonderful, wonderful weekend again of spiritual renewal. And so this, uh, the people who sponsored me chose this verse for me. And uh, it fit certainly at that time, but always uh, I was, a pastor in Southern California and I was single. I was single until I was 55 years old and I'm pretty sure along those years I was longing for a, a mate and, and to have that support uh, during ministry. So that was part of it. But for all of us, you know, God has plans for us to prosper and not to harm. And wow, do we need to claim that during this, after this, uh, well still during this COVID time. You know, God does not want to harm us. He has plans. Uh, for us to prosper us and give us hope in a future and uh, my husband just got vaccinated the first vaccine today and I'm waiting for my turn um, that's part of our uh, future hope and plan I believe and so no matter what we're facing in life you know maybe the grass is always greener on the other side or or you know we see people doing things and you know wish uh, we could have that for ourselves but God has a personal plan for each one of us and throughout my years of ministry overseas and uh, in California in a church and in South Dakota in a nursing home, all the different venues, you know, God always had my back, if you will. And uh, whatever you're doing, whatever God has called you to do, God has your back as well and has plans for you uh, to prosper and give you hope to prosper you. And I wanted to close with a little story. I've shared it certainly in at funerals perhaps or but it's about a woman who she was getting on in years and so she went to talk with her pastor and and they were talking and she said pastor <clears throat> you know uh, I'd like to be buried and in the casket I'd like to have my family Bible but I'd also like a fork well pastor hadn't heard that one before certainly a lot of people are buried with Bibles and things like that but a fork and she said yeah let me explain she said, you know, when you're at a potluck at church and they start clearing away uh, the, the plates and things and they'll say to you, keep your fork. And you know then that something really good is coming. You need a fork to eat pie or cake or something substantial. It's not going to be jello or whatever. <laughs> so keep your fork uh, is, a, is a good... Uh, line to tell you that something good is coming and she said I want people to see the fork and to know that the best is yet to come you know when God calls us home and gives us that home beautiful home in heaven that we're all waiting for then we'll know that the best has come so when you uh, pick up your fork today or sometime uh, just remember God has the best uh, plans for you uh, for today um, for tomorrow and for all eternity. God bless your Lenten season. Thank you.